After I upload pretty much every video, I always get the same consistent questions. Studs, how did you get those displays behind you? Specifically, I'll always see people ask, where did you get that awesome minifigure display? Now, that thing is absolutely sick, mind you, and it's really cool. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you different IKEA display things as well as I display it. Uh, now, basically the way this is gonna work, I'm just gonna be showcasing different potential Lego displayability products. We're going to be looking at some I display it minifigure stands, and we're going to also be looking at some stuff I bought over at Ikea. Uh, now, you know, these are both great brands, and I will be linking them both down below. Uh, I display it did provide these to me free of charge, so I am greatly thankful to them for doing that. And I'm going, you know, try to give you as unbiased of an opinion as possible, giving you all the information I have. But with that said, I'm going to ask you all to hit that subscribe if you absolutely love Lego like I do. We're also going to be taking a look again at these amazing IKEA big link. I don't even know how to pronounce that. To all my Swedish people out there, someone, but please give me the phonetic on that. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to get into that. With that said, uh, let's start with the iDisplay, then we'll move on to the IKEA. Now, I display it does some really careful packaging, uh, so you know they just go nuts with it. Obviously, this is an international company. Uh, my shipping was relatively fast, uh, but it really is gonna get here depending on the type of shipping you buy. Now, what we have here is specifically a display item for minifigures. Put this box down. And we're gonna move all of this beautiful bubble wrap. We also do have a little card here. All very cool and dandy. Uh, then we're just gonna open this up. We have a look at the product. So with that said, I'm gonna do a quick hyperlapse of me just putting this together because these things take a long time to do. Uh, so I'll be back when we're done. So now we're at the point in the video where I select what minifigures I want to put in my display case. And conveniently, I happen to have an entire wall of minifigures sorted out. For instance, in here, we have a bunch of Darth Vader's and various Sith Lords. Or I could pull out here, we have Ahsoka's and Yoda's. So my goal is to get all the coolest, uh, you know, harder to find minifigures to put on display because I feel like they kind of deserve it the most and I, I'd like to see most of them in this thing. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna select some, and then I'm gonna show you what they all look like in the display case. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here is the display case. Uh, now a minor problem I honestly have with it is the proportions and the way, like, like I use these black tiles just to kind of line up as many people as possible. Uh, you could use the regular set hoppers, but the proportions just honestly feel a little off for the width of it. So, so that's a criticism of it. With it said, it's a great display piece. And before I obviously put it up on the wall, I want to show you guys a bit of what it looked like. So I kind of wanted to go for a theme. Uh, so on the bottom half, we have a lot of the cooler looking sequel characters. Obviously, we have uh, the main original cast down there. I just thought they're all cool figures. You don't see them together that often, so I wanted to show that. You also have um, lots of guys in the background. Uh, you know, lesser interesting ones. We also have the main cast right there. They're the, that's the only time other than the sequels. I think I did the main cast. Actually, I, the only ones I didn't do main cast with were the original trilogy, so I didn't have like two Lukes. Uh, but either way, there's Anakin, uh, Obi-Wan, and Padme, as well as we have a load of sequel Jedi. You have Kit Fisto back there, Kiati Mundi, Quinlan Voss, uh, the new Mace Windu. Uh, we have Ethorians, and then we move over. I had the Separatists, too. You have Count Dooku, uh, Chancellor Palpatine, a uh, boss, Poggle the Lesser, you even have a new Gunray in there. Django Fett, too. Uh, moving up, we do have, uh, there's this little area where I have just some random customs, like you see um, Cal Kestis uh, and Darth Revan. Uh, but other than that, we have the Rebels crew. We also have uh, that Sith lady from uh, Freemaker Adventures. And then we have some of the cool Imperial officers. We have Vader and uh, Palpatine and Maul. Obviously, and we even have Anakin again back there. But also, we have Gideon. We have uh, Darth 
Uh, Thrawn, oh my gosh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. We have the Grand Inquisitor. Uh, we have, um, what's his name, Agent Callus. Uh, we have Item Versio. Uh, I did have the second brother, the fifth brother, whatever his name is. Uh, but of course, I did uh, trade him a long time ago, which is very sad. And then up here, the main one, I guess this would be the more anthology type stuff, as well as some rebellion leaders. We have the Mandalorian, Cara Dune, Baby Yoda. Uh, we also have a load of customs from Firestar. That armor I love is one of my favorite Lego minifigures of all time, period. Uh, we also do have, uh, what's his name? Um, Cobb Vanth. We have uh, the uh, the old guy. Got his name. I'll leave a link, actually, if you guys want to buy any of these at Firestar Toys. Uh, I have a code with them and everything, so you can check that out. We have the Rogue One crew over here. We also have Bail Organa, because why the heck not? And one of the great things about these cases, you could actually mount them to the wall if you so desire. Uh, now, I am going to be doing this later. I just want to find the right position, but I wanted to show you guys uh, the case. Uh, you know, you can mount them to the wall. Uh, I, I just really want to nail down the decision. I might be doing some interior room changes, which is why I haven't made a final decision on this just yet. Okay, so this is actually a really cool display. Again, huge thank you to iDisplay It. This is, this is actually really awesome, uh, and I'm really happy about it. Uh, with that said, I would like to take a look uh, at some of the IKEA stuff. First off, I wanna say this is great. All of these little bricks that get down to this size, you can put with any minifigure. So say here I have Darth Revan. They can go here, they're great for mocks if you ever wanna attach them. They're all pretty compatible. Uh, and there's obviously going to be room in them for you to store minifigures. If I wanna store all my Darth Revans in there, I can do so. And I've done that in a number of circumstances. And with these small ones, I have a couple of C-3PO's on hand. Uh, so I thought, hey, why not? I'll put my C-3PO's in there. They're great especially for storing your armies. So I have a mixture of like Wookiees and Ewoks in here, for instance. I, if I want to get my Wookiees and Ewoks, I just, you know, sort through it, find it. Uh, in here, I have my entire battle droid army just sitting and ready at my disposal. And it is great. You have uh, loads of them and you have different types, different variants. And the thing that's great is you can get them in all these different sizes. They sell them on Ikea and they stack really well. And honestly, everyone has one of these in their Lego collection. And it is their random jar, whether that be of minifigures, of bricks. Uh, so I have turned it into my kind of my miscellaneous minifigures bin, uh, where I put figures I have yet to organize. Um, and it has been great. Like, I have a pen full of clones. This is mainly from hauls and lots I've gotten, where I just haven't had the time to organize it. Um, but it is a fantastic thing. This big one is especially great. If you have a clone army, you could load in your ATSTs in here. You could even make it a little base inside the box. You could build inside the box. There are studs on the side where you could actually build up and make it Lego compatible and have everything connect just fine. Uh, and, and I think that's really great. I'm really glad they took that liberty. Again, I will take out a C-3PO here and you can fit, uh, say something right here. Uh, and you can build up from that. There, there's only a few connections. Obviously, there's the top of the box, um, which is, by the way, a fantastic air way to get a base plate. Um, the, the thing itself is like $17, I believe. Um, and and like a base plate is usually 11 but you're getting this thick piece, which could act as a base plate, and you're also going to be getting this firm box to use for whatever you want. Uh, so that is, I guess, a good way to look at it. Base plates are obviously very uh, expensive. Uh, so overall, I'd say these are a fantastic investment for storing your Lego sets and, and Lego everything. Uh, so that's a big recommendation I have. Ikea's obviously, they make pretty solid products. I used to use a table from them. I have a different table now, but I use them all over my Lego room. So I'd strongly recommend. But either way, guys, I hope you guys learned some pretty awesome ways to display and store your Lego minifigures. Really anything Lego. Uh, again, huge thank you to iDisplay It for sending these over. Uh, I am very excited to eventually put this on my wall somewhere. I just really have to wait uh, to figure out exactly where it is I'm going to put it. And quite frankly, I might not necessarily make this a Star Wars one. I'm considering putting all my different CMFs. I have Muppets. I have Marvel. I have uh, Disney CNFs all to put in here. Heck, I have Looney Tunes. So I might make this for them. I honestly have to wait and see how I want to handle it. And I'll keep you posted throughout all of my vlogs. But either way, with that said, I will see you guys all in the next one. Remember, peace out and stay awesome.